Hey, Team Ashley Black. So I am submitting all of my information for the Great Reset Challenge. And the question asks, what did I learn? What positive environment changes have I made? What sort of changes? So it's interesting because I have a 20 year old daughter. Um, she's the youngest of three of two boys and a daughter. And when I told her I was doing this before and after challenge, um, and I had her help me with some of the photos and stuff, she's like, mom, I don't think these, these contests are a good idea. Some people will go out there and they'll like starve themselves and they'll make unhealthy changes. And so I thought about it as I was going through this challenge, like what did I want her to learn from this experience as well? And so honestly, what really helped I think was the book. Um, I downloaded it onto Hoopla, which is a free library app and listened and there were so many great things. I mean, overwhelmingly so, but there were so many great things that I was telling her about and how we need to just make sure that our environment's the cleanest that it can be. Um, I've never been one to give my kids a lot of antibiotics. We always found alternatives. We talked about medicine. I actually had a mammogram scheduled and canceled that <laughs> because I was like, oh, after listening to his you know, discussion about 65%, I'm like, well, you know, I do my own health checks. Anyways, I'm getting a little too far off in the weeds, but I, I was trying to teach her that, you know, life needs to have a balance, um, that this wasn't a reset about like who can be the skinniest in 31 days, but rather how we wanna look at each aspect of our life, whether it's that spiritual, which I have a relationship with my Lord and I am big into prayer and I believe prayer does change things, even for those who don't know that you're praying for them. Um, I, you know, the physical, obviously eating, I mean, huge, right? I still have a relationship with cheese, so I'm not sure about breaking up with that yet. But, um, you know, again, we've added like organic blueberries to our morning every single day and we're eating that on its own before we jump into, we're still doing coffee, but before we jump into coffee, we're giving that sugar time to set. So we're taking some of those things that we learned and we're trying to make positive um, changes. I actually, my husband thinks I'm crazy, but I wanna have an environmental test done on our, in like our home. Just, um, we moved in just a year and a half ago, so everything's a new build. And I think I smell something and no one else in my house can, but I'm like, well, better to be safe than sorry. So anyways, there's a lot of things that I learned knowledge-wise. Um, I've always, well, I shouldn't say always been a blaster, but since the first time I bought mine, which was probably three years ago, I continue to add tools. And I thank you guys for having that sale the other day. Um, I did order the very large tool with the scrub and the nugget and all that. So I'm super excited to get that. Should be tracking soon. Um, and I've, you know, tried to be a little bit more diligent. And actually you'll see on my after photos when my daughter was taking my picture, she's like, mom, you have this huge bruise on your leg. What is that from? And I said, well, that's because I'm actually working my tools the way I'm supposed to. So I've seen a lot of improvements. I play pickleball. Um, and so I've had a lot of improvements in my knee and also what they call tennis elbow, even though for me, I've never played tennis, it's pickleball elbow. I've seen a lot of improvements there. I'm doing CrossFit. I still have some things that I want to improve there, but you know, I was trying to be more diligent in my physical, my nutritional, my spiritual, my mental health, taking, you know, just accountability for any stress that I might be causing my family or myself. Um, taking moments to do my deep breaths. I think I told you guys before I have an ice barrel and we study with Wim Hof and my husband's certified in, in his first uh, lesson of trainings. But anyways, um, so breathing, we understand the importance of that. So overall, we're trying to make healthy changes. I appreciate these contests just because, I mean, I loved your guys' daily emails. I didn't get to always be in every single live um, you know, Facebook time, but it was nice to be able to go back and to watch Lau and Jared and to see the other girls. I love Renee, she's one of my favorites. But again, just thank you guys for that. So that is on the positive. And gosh, now I owe you another video for, um, I don't know, there's another video. I owe you, I'll go back and look at the questions. All right, thanks so much, bye.